There's some three wef cooks in Buckinghamshire. The question is, we know the conductor is a sort of inspiration to an orchestra, but um, is he as important as he looks? <laughs> yes, Our agree. question is, what exactly does a conductor do? <laughs> oh, no, it's hard to Well, I hope he's much more important than he looks. Um, what does he do? Um, well, we must consider this from three angles. What's he do before the rehearsal? What's he do at the rehearsal? And what's he do at the concert? Before the rehearsal, he is the one person who must know uh, what, or uh, ever, he convinces himself he knows what the composer intended to be the effect of his music. You must realize that the orchestra is only given their own part. Uh, the question the other day was put, what was the difference between the leader and the conductor? Well, the leader may have 50 bars rest to start with. That is simply the figure 50 with a sign underneath it. He knows nothing about what is happening at the first rehearsal. The conductor must know his piece. He must, in his mind's eye, have uh, decided how it should sound. And he goes there with the authority of being the producer, the one man with the whole script, whereas the other people have just their own part, and he must state what he intends to be the effect he considers the composer meant. I may say that usually, uh, that effect is an ideal one which very few comp uh, conductors ever achieve. I will say I've never yet had a, a performance that has been as good as I have imagined it. I've heard other people's performances better than I've imagined it, but my own, I have never quite achieved the perfection that I would like to get. At rehearsal, he sets to work practically to make the orchestra play and achieve the, the effects he has already imagined in his own mind from the score. This entails a great deal of, of practical knowledge. He must know what the strings are capable of doing, how best, with our bowing, with our phrasing, with the breath of the woodwind and so on, how best to get this effect. But the orchestra cannot know this. They only have their own part, and um, it means the one mind must be there to see they work together to achieve the result which is on the score. At the concert, he again must add something more, because some conductors give a perfect rehearsal and are not so good a performance at the concert. He must then put over uh, at once, and for each second as it flies by, the real full effect emotionally and as an interpretation of the piece concerned. Yes. Well, he dies so much sympathy with the question that I overcome my, my timidity in speaking again, Sergeant, about this. But I also want to tell an anecdote. I've always thought that people enormously exaggerated the importance of the conductor from the point of view of the listener. You hear people saying, I am going to hear a concert, not of Mozart and of Beethoven, but a conduct concert conducted by Toscanini or Beecham or Barbarelli or even Sargent. Well, now, do they, does it really make all that difference? I've often asked myself that question, and in order to settle it one day, I arranged for a party of people, I must say they were mainly women, to be present at a gramophone recital, who, a party of people who made very great, made very great emphasis, you see, on the comparative merits of one conductor on another, arranged for a series of gramophone pieces to be played to them, orchestral pieces, on a first-rate gramophone, and then asked them, now, who wants the conductor? And you know, I think uh, the error, the degree of error that they made was certainly not, and I think it was an excess of chance. They got it wrong more often than they would have got it right, than, than they would have got it wrong if they'd merely guessed. I think we must have started to have a word on that. I, I do know this, this horror people have of, of hearing Toscanese, Beethoven 5, whatever it is, but after all, you do go and hear Gielgud's Hamlet as compared with Barry or someone else. It simply is a quick way of saying he is conducting this work by Beethoven. With regard to the conductors, I would, I, I'm not right on the gramophone, but I know I'd have no difficulty in, in listening to a performance of a Mozart symphony, even one that I'd not heard any of them do, and I would distinguish, distinguish between Toscanini, Beecham, Bolt and Wood. I'm certain I'd get it right. You would, but... Well, well, that means the difference is there. Whether you distinguish or not means that you may not be able to distinguish it, but the difference <laughs> is there. <laughs> well, that's the steps as far as we can go. Uh, next week, I shouldn't be a bit surprised if we get a question from some three conductors asking what a cook does. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, we pass on to the next question.